Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the uh, Transformer Collaborative 2021 with Jurassic Park so we have Tyrannicon Rex and Autobot GP93 <laughs> and oh um, man I, I'm a huge fan of Jurassic Park so yeah <laughs> so we have the box right here and the box is just marvelous I mean, we, we have a sort of a maquette where uh, when we meet the T-Rex first in the very first movie of Jurassic Park, where it stomps on a Jeep and looks at the other. <laughs> really great. I mean, the, the box is so great. I, I, I feel like I just want to keep it like that, you know, just like a really nice maquette. But I really want to play with Autobot GP93 so, also, so. <sighs> yeah, I had to. So, yeah, really cool maquette. Uh, I mean, uh, if you detach the... The, the car in it, it it moves around so that's why i didn't detach the t-rex yet because i still wanted I, I wanted to show the box because it looks just so amazing and uh yeah we have another car right here like the one that's upside down and this one is like just in cardboard fortunately would have been nice <laughs> having two of those but yeah really nice box with a nice t-rex t-rex is just a recolor of megatron that we had some beast wars but with more brownish movie colors which is really great. Uh, GP is just amazing. New mold. Well, new-ish mold, yes. We'll come back. And the box. And eh, legal stuff on the back. License plate right here. On the side. In the back, we just have like the big paw. In the here, we have officially licensed. So, yeah, Ford. Let's can to play. I don't know what it is. If you want to check it out, scan and go play. <laughs> and uh, yeah so yeah let's stop wasting time with the box and open this up when you open this up you have like the uh, DNA cartoony thingy I don't remember the name but <laughs> really cool there's lots of love that went into the box now so let's open this up and we have GP93 right here we'll come back to it so let's open this up in here we have instructions and what is it? The legal stuff, I guess. Yeah, yeah, legal stuff that nobody reads. Let's keep opening. The box is so huge. <laughs> I'm just having trouble opening it. Why is it stuck? All right. Ugh. All right, we got this. All right, so first up, uh, just the instructions. Uh, they are pretty thick. So I think they're both in the same, yeah. So, uh, the, the instructions are actually amazing. We have collars. So that's one thing we never saw before. So, yeah. so on one side we have all the transformation of, um, of GP93. And it's a little bit hardcore. The transformation is super easy, but <laughs> they've got like 18 steps, super huge. And uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. And in the back, we have the transformation for Tyrannicon Rex. So, yeah. Yeah, 27 step for Tyrannicon. So, a oh, bit of hardcore. Yeah, legal stuff nobody reads. So yeah, well, T-Rex. So I'm just gonna untab all, well, cut all these wires, and we'll come back to it afterward. And here we have GP93 and Tyrannicon Rex out of the package. And yeah, they are pretty good. I love this the color scheme of this one. Looks really nice. The paint has been has nice details. The black, uh, especially the legs, the black helps a lot. Megatron had white, which looked way too obvious to me. The red also is pretty nice. I really dig the colors when it. So yeah, uh, the, the plastic and everything is the same, rubbery everywhere. So uh, the same as Megatron, and here we have Megatron next to it. <laughs> So yeah, pretty cool. It's exactly what I was saying, like the white looks way too obvious. So yeah, and the black, you know, it, it looks way better. So that's one thing. Oops. <laughs> and we have a GP93. Now I don't have much to compare it with. So we have Earthrise Voice, which is uh, the other green truck. 
and we have like the Studio Series Jazz. Because I thought it was a uh, repaint, remold of Jazz, but it's very different still, so yeah, we'll see. So, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> so, let's go back to the figures themselves. Oops. And, uh, yeah, uh, we'll go with the uh, Megatron, I guess. Uh, Tyrannicon. I keep calling him Meg Megatron. Let's <laughs> move Megatron. So, yeah, this one uh, has the same articulation and everything. So, I'm just going to show it real quick because we want to see this one. So, yeah, articulation and dyno has the same with the legs, they rotate, the feet, the arms are on ball joints, the, the head can move up, down, left, right, mouth, rah. <laughs> I think the tongue moves also. That's it. No, the tongue doesn't move. That's rah, 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 rah. <laughs> The tail moves side to side, can rotate here, rotate here, so yeah. So a transformation, real simple, open this up, open this up, flip this back like this, and like this, come back to this later, uh, what next, open up the chest, like this, I haven't transformed this in a while, flip this down, flip this over, like this, and bring this back like this, and next up you want to detach the torso, from the waist, so you just pull on this, rotate the torso, flip the head over, like this, bring the torso up like this, bring this down, oh, the head just, hmm, the head is weird, alright, so we'll bring this up, bring this down, Why? what's blocking? All these panels are just blocking everything. So this goes up, like this, this goes here, and then we'll plug this in. There you go. Bring the legs down, bring the legs down, and then you close the gap in between the thighs, which is one of the hardest steps to do. There you go, we got one. We'll get the other one. There you go. And then you snap them together. There you go. Then you rotate these side panel up. These side panel up. So it's the same thing as the Megatron. So if you really want a more in-depth transformation, go check out the Megatron figure review. So, all right, these. Clamp. Clamp. Bring them back. Bring them back. In, just goes in and like this and then this comes up like this and clamps and these you bring them either down or up so you got this situate the head and for the arms right here you want to flip this around open these panels make sure the uh, rubber right here goes under like this same thing here so you push the rubber under the skin because it can jam flip this open and there you go we have Tyrannicon Raxol Transform let's move the camera a little bit up because he is a little bit big so yeah uh, I like the color scheme he kinda he would have passed for a decent Grimlock I guess but he of course is not but yeah, we have a nice head. It's pretty much the only difference now. Like the head is different, and the head is like it, it feels natural here. It's weird. And when I lift it up, it feels like I'm pulling on the joint. It's kind of weird. The joint is weird. So yeah, uh, not much details on the chest, which would have been would have been nice. Uh, yeah, same articulation as. Uh, Megatron now, so yeah, the head is only ball joint, arm rotate here, slider here, rotation at bicep, a hinge at the elbow, uh, nothing at the wrist beside it goes up like this. Uh, this sort of clamp goes like this, uh, leg uh, forward like this, backward like this. Can do the split 
like this. <laughs> that rotation of the uh, knee, uh, knee bends uh, 90 degrees, and ankle can move up and down and side to side a little bit. It's kind of hindered, but it's there, I guess. And as for the other arm, it just has like the mouth sort of rotation, elbow joints, pretty much all the same. So, yeah, backpack. Same as Megatron. <laughs> so yeah, figure is is the same as Megatron. Just I, I like the color scheme. I just wish it would be like I don't know more paint on his chest and I don't know. It's cool, but yeah. <laughs> so GP93. This is the one that we've been waiting for. He is amazing. So much paint on him. Like the Jurassic Park here. The red stripes. The logos, number four in the back. It just looks so damn cool. I love this with the sunroof, <laughs> the grill in the front. Everything is just amazing about this truck. It's just so cool. So, yeah, we have the storage for the gun right here. So, you can unpeg it here. You have like the tab and the tab right here. And this gun is like it's really nice. A nice shotgun. Really cool. I love this shotgun. Not, a, not enough Transformer that has shotguns for weapons. So yeah, here's the goals. And pretty much it. Now, I was talking about uh, Jazz because I honestly thought it was just a huge remold of Jazz because of the same front transformation, but it's kind of different. The arms are different, so it's I guess it's a totally new mold. So I was expecting like, some similarities because transformation-wise, you can pull these out like this flip the wrists if you can where's the weapon there you go and the clip there you go same thing here you'll pull out the hand there you go clip it there you go and then you rotate the arms like this. It's exactly like Jazz. So bring this up like this. And Jazz has the same, so you can bring the arm like this. So it's very similar, and I thought it was a heavy remold of Jazz just because of that. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, next up you open up the doors like this. You take the roof. Pull it up like this and bring the chest down. As you bring it down, you want to clip these on. Now that the roof is uh, open, they can clip. Bring this down, clap this in. And that's another part where I thought it was light jazz because jazz also has like this sort of panel. So, you know. All right, situate the arms like this. The feet, you just pull them down like this, rotate all the way around. Just tabs in here like this. Next up, you want to split the legs like this, and you take this sunroof here and bring it all the way back like this. So the roof back, and yeah. Next up, you take the backpack. You have like this tab right here. We'll peg inside here, and there we go. We have GP93. Super simple transformation. But, uh, yeah, and we can take his shotgun, pick it in, well, give him his hand, there you go. So, yeah, he's still cool, he has big boots, I'm not a fan of the boots. I'm not a fan of the head either, the head kind of looks a little bit too human-like, I don't like the hat, but, yeah, okay. <laughs> Is it light piping? I guess it's light piping, it's super small, though. And yeah, the backpack, the backpack, I, I don't like how it pegs. It just pegs in here and it's super loose for some reason. Well, not loose, but it unpegs easily, you know. So, yeah, the head is on a swivel, so, uh, is it on a small ball joint, I guess. So, yeah, move side to side. Arms are on a swivel like this, swivel like this, ball joint at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist beside a uh, swinging movement inside. Mm, nothing at the waist. That's surprising. All right. Legs can do the split like this. Move forward. Backward. Rotation of the upper thigh right here. The knee uh, bends 
more than 90 degrees and it's all the like, big chunk it's not like I, I, I hope like this would stay there and then only the knee would bend but no it's the whole chunk so it's kind of weird as for the feet uh, they don't go they, ju they just go side to side like this and I like that we have at least some panels right here I guess this can go forward but uh, not much <laughs> but uh yeah decent figure not the best I love this color the, the color scheme but yeah the the joints are not the greatest same for the arms they are very loose everywhere but eh, it's kind of cool we have the duo right here <laughs> let's do a comparison real quick so for comparison we have right here Megatron let's move those so yeah uh, they are pretty similar let's move him <laughs> they are pretty similar. I mean, they're they're, they're just a remote. The only only the head differs and the details because my uh, Megatron is much more details. So yeah. Also, mine has uh, the Toy X figures st stickers on him, so <laughs> it looks even more detailed, you know. But especially the vents and the torso is just like lacking so much on uh, Tyrannicon Rex. But uh, yeah, repaint. Repaints, repaints, and as for GP93, uh, we have hoist right here, similar robot, a uh, green truck. So yeah, they fit kind of, kind of cool. And we have Jazz right here, which is much smaller from Studio Series Earthrise for hoist. So yeah, really cool. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Jurassic Park duo. I mean, is it worth it? I don't know. It's a really high price. It's for a niche clean, niche collectors. People jumps on it, but it's the figure themselves are. Eh. I love the color of the T Rex. I'm not too much of a fan of the robot mode. I love the vehicle mode of this one, but the robot mode is sort of lacking. Oh, I forgot to show, but we do have storage for the weapon in the back. So when you store it in vehicle, you peg it on the back weapon and when you store it in the back of the robot mode you use this peg right here and you just plug it here there you go so yeah so yeah like I said uh, this one is a little bit disappointing in robot wise it's still a really nice figure but the whole set together is so high priced for what it is I'm not sure it's you know I can convince the people to get it it's just if this figure would have been sold to alone, sure, get it. It's really cool because, you know, it's a new mold, a new figure, and it's a Jurassic Park. But selling both of them together with a repaint, forcing the repaint on people, uh, they could have just sold it separately, maybe. I understand that doing a Jurassic Park with the T-Rex is just really cool. But, you know, the robot mode is not so-so. They... They haven't they they've put the love in the dino mode and the vehicle mode they they didn't put so much love in the robots mode you know it's kind of weird to say but yeah they sacrifice one mode to do to do the the other you know so yeah it's kind of cool if you have the money to, to to spare get it it's an amazing set but it's still a repaint of megatron in a tiny figure that is i don't know below average for a transformer you know so yeah, <laughs> I'm still biased because I really love Jurassic Park. So, to me, I, I really do love them. But for uh, normal people who just collect Transformers, I don't know. It's not the best, but it's still a cool set. So, <laughs> yeah, if you like what you see, get it. If you don't, mm -hmm, don't get it. You're win win, you know? <laughs> Anyway, you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.